Hello and welcome to this data analysis tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're continuing on that Python for data analysis theme. We're going to look at how we can use Python to automate our PDFs. So as usual, we need to install some things if we haven't before. So we need to use that command line search CMD, get in there and we're going to look to, to install our two Python packages that we require because we'll need to import this into our, our code editor. So the first one, pypdf2, and if we click enter after typing that in, pip install pypdf2, it's gonna work its magic, won't take long, and we can go on to installing the next package that we're going to import into our Atom editor. You can use any editor you like, but we need pip install, and then we're going to go for fpdf2 and that should load away as well when we click enter, won't take long, and we have everything we need to get started. So we need to import PyPDF2, and we also need to um, import FPDF into our project. And you can see when I press on my, on my Mac or Control Shift B, everything runs as expected. So the plan for today, we're going to look to sort of extract information from a PDF as a gentle introduction. And we'll look at a simple and a slightly more complex way that we can create some powerful PDFs. Now, why is this useful? Well, um, in an enterprise BI or data analysis environment, you don't always get the best information, even if you're looking to build these into a pipeline or, or put them into a SQL environment, you still um, might not be able to get the nicest exports. That's just part of the job. So it's often useful to use something like Python if we have lots of these repetitive tasks we need to do. We want to spend as little manual time as possible. So um, great use case and example there. So the first thing we need to do, um, I'm just going to call the, the file that we require, which is just a meeting minutes PDF, but I actually got online from the automate the boring stuff resources and we need to also include rb which means read in binary we need that in order to extract the information um, and then we i've just assigned another variable reader and all that's doing actually we're just assigning that against the function to read our file so bring it into python and read it meeting minutes and now you can see I comment, good practice to use your, your hashtag in the comments, so print, um, reader, and the number of pages. I've commented that out, but we were able to look at the number of pages present in our file. And now, if we go into um, an active page, so we can select any page starting from a zero index, and we can read the information that's contained within that PDF page, and then we can print it down here within the display so really easy in a few lines of code to you know import in a pdf and start to extract and look at the information so now i guess the the really valuable part though is is i guess creating a script to to write pdfs again and um, we might this these can often be very manual processes and we want to use our time wisely and automate that as much as possible so I'm going to show you the, the sort of key syntax within this package in Python. And then we're going to look at how we can sort of start to use classes to make it even more automated and readable. But what we need to do first is we can just declare um, our PDF variable against this fpdf. And then we need to, the next line needs to be that we're adding a page. So fairly straightforward, that syntax. We set the font to whatever font we like, Helvetica here. And the size and then now we can actually just start to write information within a, a cell so we can select the placement we can select the text the line so line number one at the top of the page and a line equals c means we want this to be center aligned and then we need to select an output so as you can see here i've chosen youtube.pdf it shows in my file explorer and now i can open this like any pdf and there we go we've created a PDF relatively simple and we now have the basis of a nice reusable script. We can actually add information to this. We don't have to comment anything out. We can just go directly back in, add another cell and we're going to kind of form the same practice as before. 
so we can write a piece of text in there you know if you wanted to you can choose the line and the alignment as well um so yeah we're we're just putting out some boilerplate text we'll press Control shift b run the code in our ad atom editor as i said you can use any open up the pdf and, and it's dynamically changed there fantastic now I like these videos to be quite short and punchy, but I do have an example here. I didn't have the time, I wouldn't have had the time on screen time to type it out. But how we can start to use classes to, to make an even more powerful script for a better invoice. And you can see I'm breaking everything down into headers, footers, feel free to pause the screen, let me know if you do want the script. Um, and then at the end we just instantiate everything. So we call it, we bring it all together, but let me show you first what this actually looks like um, and, and maybe some of the key features as to how we get there. So this more complex invoice, you can see it's certainly not a Picasso, the, uh, the image is a bit blurry, but we're able to use things like indexes in order to, to generate repeatable code. We've got that nice footer um, and there's way more ways that you can harness shapes and design. I'm just scratching the surface and I want people to go away and um, this to foster some creativity, but you can see we actually create classes and we use a self function there. And what we do, you know, as we did before, we're placing objects, images, we're setting fonts, but by using this self, it gives us greater flexibility later on down the line, especially if we want to make changes. We can use a boilerplate text such as page, and then we can also refer to the page number within these inbuilt functions and just show it with the forward slash NB there. We can show it as page one of two, two of two, two of three, whatever that may be, and add a nice powerful footer. And you can see how these things, we're gonna piece them together. And at the end, that's essentially what we're doing. We instantiate the above. We have a script to run with an index. We can change the text. This is very nice and reusable. Um, and there's a lot of use cases here, even in an enterprise environment. So if you like this content, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.